There you go. And that is definitely a Hayabusa chew. Oh. What do you think about this lineup, bro? I feel like work is... They don't really have anyone to take towers except for Chaga and Lunox, right? Which are very weak at taking down towers. All their... With the, uh, the Shadow Kill, with the Meteor Shower, as well as with Arteezy just constantly dishing out damage. That is what work once. Yeah. They cannot split push. They cannot go for... Um, they cannot go for small skirmishes outside of the 15 minute mark because that is where Bren shines this time around because they will shine throughout the entirety of the game. They have coverage in the early, mid, and late game. And we'll find out if uh, Work Awesome Force has it in them to secure this game number two in the specified series between Bren and Work Awesome Force. Now we are loading up in the game two, ladies and gents. It is still Master versus Apprentice here for game two. And I would not be surprised if I see a very early push from Brent Esports. Their lineup is loaded with early game power. And also, keep your eyes on the diggy. Keep your eyes on the diggy. It's not a feeding diggy threat. It's not a regular a diggy, diggy, bro. It's a regular diggy. Like, yep. no doubt, Lusty picked this up just to get safety against Unravel Skufra. Yep, they just want to make sure that none of these pesky tyrants rages actually make it to the cut so I, I i completely agree that's just how you do it that's the last pick diggy just disrupts so many enemy so many enemy teams here for bren and uh again it can be played in a multitude of ways right now carl tz back on the jungle benedetta he's one of the few people who actually pulled this off in the big stage and if any if, if anything the, um, what I'm seeing here is that work should be forcing out the time's journey. They probably should, yeah. But who else can proc it aside from Unravel? Aside from Unravel here, hmm. There's nobody. Oh, yeah, not there's really. There's the Benedetta. There's the, uh, there's the Electro Final Blow, and we'll potentially and will oh, get the kill onto Arteezy. Boy. They're following it up on few. Work wants to get a revenge kill off of that, but they're not going to get it. Yep, Brand Esports, low HP members, but they're very happy to go for that trade. Evens up the gold. And uh, again, you kind of have to look out for the early game here for Brand. Just as I called earlier, they will be the ones to go for the fights as much as possible. Uh, Kosei forces out the Meteor Shower there to potentially take away the crab gold from Carl Teezy, but it's not going to happen. Unravel connects the revenge, gets the bouncing ball. So managed to make it out alive. Yep, and again, the beauty of the Carl TZ Benedetta jungle is that it's so safe. No one can actually catch a jungler Benedetta. It's a little slow, but it's not It's not easy to kill, even if you gank up on it. A lot of safety, and again, it's reliant on Unravel to make sure he gets a catch on Carl TZ, but it, he is properly and thoroughly protected here in this, comp in this uh, composition that Brent Esports has. And no doubt this turtle will go to the side of Brent Esports now. Yep, and that turtle is going to be a major thing for Carl TZ. This gives him a big advantage in the early game. And it will make Chu's life harder. Because usually you want the turtle buff on the Hayabusa so that he can pull off early game plays. Without the turtle buff, this Hayabusa will just farm. He will not fight. That shield is what the Hayabusa needs. He does not have it. And it's going to take him a while before he has it. 93 seconds on that, a minute and 30 uh, to be precise. So it's a waiting game for Work Awesome Force. Wait for the turtle as much as possible. Just like what you said, Chu is going to farm. He can't really go into big team fights. Speaking of which, they might just rotate here on the bottom lane. There is a presence for themselves. Unravel will catch Carl Tz. He gets the range on Carl Tz as well. The Federated Airstrike to zone them out. But he still managed to take him down. Arteezy takes down Carl Tz. And Lusty takes down Unravel. That is a trade that Brand Esports. Okay, that's a win for that, them. Yeah, actually, not so much of a fair trade because that's a jungler for a tank and you remove the turtle buff. It's massive for Bren. Now it's going to be a question of whether or not Bren can make up for that and can work actually do something with a small opening that they have to try to control some of these camps. Small opening, but it may the opening may just become wider here. Few is waiting on the side, does have the fettered airstrike. There are three members here on the side of Work Officer Force in the top side. Unravel going for the revenge, just yep. a shy too short. Way too short there for the fight, and I think he was just trying to flex that sound cue 
so that few would not be uh, too aggressive. But again, few kind of saw that a mile away. Now, Carl TC and few collapsing on top side could be a different story. I think they want this fight. They do, and he already expended the knockout punch on to Chu as well. So he's forcing him back. And that is another disengage by work. So work right now feels like they're waiting for Chu. Uh, this is the waiting game for Chu here. Because Arteezy and Kosei can clear waves. But they don't really want to go for fights if possible uh, without the Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. The Shadow Kill is the burst damage that Work Also Force wants here. Yep. I mean, Brent Esports will pretty much itemize for the entirety of the line of the Work has, which is magic damage. Speaking of which, the magic damage here, the Rage oh, and the go. Time's Journey, just in time for Lusty. That's the recipe. That's what you're going to see over and over again. Lusty waiting, Time's Journey for that Tyrant's Rage. And whoa! Turtle still goes over to Bren Esports. And that is not what Work wants. And Rabble will fall down. Good on 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 Chu. Not good on Chu. Good on Bren to actually zone Chu away from the Turtle. And they will get three members off of this. As Chu takes down Lusty, three Martizi is low on HP. They will start sieging up here. Chu yep. can dive in. He does not have the uh, Shadow Kill. Yep. What he does have is, of course, the Purple Buff, which kind of allows him to do a lot of stuff, but again, the damage is just not there yet. Um, again, cooldowns as well on the ultimates makes him makes life very difficult for the Hayabusa. Total kills may exceed 500 as a team for Brand Esports this season. We may just see that at the end of the series, uh, hoping we will see that for ourselves, that milestone being broken. But we're also hoping to work on force turn things around here. It's a thousand gold lead by Brent Esports. Turtle will be spawning in about a minute. They have priority over that, but they still can't control Qualtizi. Ah, interesting. Brent Esports. Um, they are trying to leverage Carl Teasy here, but I think we'll be caught That's out. There it. you go. Lusty is gone. No chance of safety there. And Flap Teasy will get bursted out by the Shadow Kill as well. But Few is joining in on the fight. Does have the Feather Air Strike. We'll go for the Feather Air Strike. Onto Unravel. Unravel flickers onto Few. Goes for the revenge as well. Again, these time, uh, all the alarm bombs are not really doing much to slow down work at all. But Flap Teasy. <laughs> Order of Brilliance for sneaky, his sneaky safety. There. Caught RTZ by surprise, forced him to go Brilliance, uh, stopping the push from happening. It's still potentially happening, and he goes oh, for the meter shower. He meter has shower. lower to run. <laughs> it went off cooldown. Right, uh, that's how long they took. Three more TZ with the TP spam on top of Rebo there. Yeah, I'm not even surprised at this point. Leaving with Ionic Edge, he's gonna zone out as much of Bren as possible. And again, you kind of know this is going to be the story of the set of the game here. Chu finally has an opening here for the turtle. Yeah, but as how long until they regroup and get this? And as I say, that Lusty will be down to an eighth of his HP. Oh, they're, Brent is not in a position to contest this. They might not be able to make it in time, but they go for free Martis instead. Does it feel like the optimal call there? Bren kind of slowed down in the re-engage. Oh, nice dash out. The three Martizi there almost gets taken out. Yeah, it's a uh, two turtles, two one in favor of Red work. That is uh, what Chu wants. Blue team turret has They're been gonna destroyed. trade out the turret in the top lane and the bottom lane. It's gonna be a fair trade, uh, or it looks like it. But I feel like that just buys the arena so much more time to work on your top side. Bot, li bot lane is gonna be a non-issue. Oh, no. oh, unravel. Even tried to go for the rage there. Shadow kill. The shadow oh kill God. is enough. The damage isn't enough though. The reposition here by Arteezy and 3 Martizi to help out Chu. The outplay by Carl Teezy will get traded off by Arteezy. Too many Teezy's being thrown out here, but it's still 3 Martizi's alive here. Yeah, uh, both of them have Teezy bros. So I don't know what I don't know what that wit key to victory earlier was about because. All of them have the TZs. Yeah, this is the uh, the worst match. To put that worst match. To put that key to victory, I think, but it's fine. Our TZ though will be going for the darkening. Flap TZ might be a little bit uh, low for the next re-engage. Kosei is well nearby. Meteor shower is actually not ready, so that was a fair uh, re-engage. Flap could have gotten some. Could have Rebo diving in with the blood flow. We'll get the info that Arteezy unravels there for the Airstrike connects onto Unravel. They're backing off. Yep, 
Brand new sports is now slowing down their gameplay a little bit. Work is ahead by 1.6k. That's not much. Right now though, Work will need to do something more creative than just wait for Chu to get those items. And how creative should they get here? They Brent is relatively safe here in this uh, fight because as soon as Unravel decides to dive in, if Lussie is nearby, nobody really will be caught in the crowd control. The Rage and the Revenge, as I say that, the Federal Strike will uh, be used up as they get information. Kosi and Arteezy. Yeah, there you go. I feel like uh, Unravel slowing down as well because he knows that... Alright, I'm biting off too many engages. No one's really following up. It's always getting times during it. So you know what? I'll just zone. I'll just be a lookout. You guys do what you want to do. And because of that, work the work is not really taking the fights as much as they they should. Mm -hmm. Playing it kind of like what Brent did in game number one in the early game. They're safe. They are in the lead, 7-5. It's a thousand gold lead for them. But it's not amounting too much because we're not seeing any conversions of the gold into objectives or any major team fights for that matter. Yeah, none of that is happening right now. Work though on the bot side, wants to get some tower damage in. Unravel stuck behind here in the back lines. Will be forced to back off. Few catches RTZ and Chu. Flap oh, trying to go man. for Unravel. Feathered Air Strike connects on to Chu, forcing himself back. And Flap TZ takes down Unravel. So that's one crowd control away from work. Already used a flicker as well. You see that Ren is actually uh, slowing down the approach. They did what they wanted to do. The Unravel already used a flicker. There's no possibility of a Tyrant's Rage to be scary enough at this point. Lusty is very much aware. And uh, I don't think there's much that Work can do to push here on mid. They should not even fight. I feel like they should force a team fight. Just let Chu go for the split and buy some time for him. Mm-hmm. It's either that or just go for an, a pickoff on any straggler there on the side of Bren. Uh, like if they know where Carl TZ is in the top lane unless he's too far away, pick him off, back off, regroup as a team. And as I say that, they are going to be regrouping Bren Esports over here at mid lane because it is a 4v5. Flap TZ not, doing, uh, not really going to be committing in that fight. Yeah, very unlikely that much will happen. Right now though, again, Bren setting up for the enhanced Lord take. It's a big timer, although low is the life of Rebo and Few. Carl TZ though, again, kind of in the same area as Chu, so expect something to, something big to happen on top side soon. I expect something to happen here in the uh, bottom side though, because 3 Martizi and the rest of work, they're engaging uh, Brent Esports in their jungle. They're trying to force the issue over in mid, and Carl is going to be joining in on a fight. Does not have the Electro Final Blow to finish anybody off, and this mid lane turret will stand strong for as long as he can. And Carl Chu catches Carl Teezy, the Shadow Kill will connect, and he will be taken out, and the Quad Shadow keeps him alive. Yeah, mission accomplished there for Chu. That was what I was talking about. I knew that was going to happen sometime soon. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh... It's a little uh, payback for what happened in game number one yeah, in that 1v1 exactly. fight. A complete turnaround and now uh, Chu feels, should feel good about that. And the uh, Rebo will be repositioning. The meter shower will be disengaging Bren Esports here. And 3 Martizi will be following through with just being a nuisance in the back lines and they will be backing off. We'll be pulled back. Unravel gets oh. the revenge. He is low on HP. Gets the rage. And the follow through by work is real. But Unravel will pay his price for that. The Fetid Airstrike will be used up. And uh, as I say that, Unravel actually makes it out alive. Work also for us. They will survive this team fight. They get three off of that. And it's just Rebo and Carl TZ left alive. And they are still fighting as Carl TZ takes down the one, RTZ is down, goes for the winter truncheon, not enough to keep Rebo alive, it's just Carl TZ left alive here, a 4-4-0 exchange in favor of work. That is a one-man show that Carl TZ has to pull up with the help of the what Lord, oh my done? god, one of the best assists you can get in the game, he did, he pulled off something and he could go for more. The Lord was with him. Quite literally in that Quite fight. Lusty is going to be joining in the rage. Nice time in a time journey. Here comes the meteor shower by Kose. Carl Tizi will make it out alive. Barely, but he still does make it out alive. Yep, right now it is a question of whether or not Carl Tizi is going to be able to get some stuff. I feel like Carl Tizi's damage is lower considerably because of Unravel's positioning and Free Martizi's positioning. But he is, oh, it's also very difficult to get a hold of Artesia in this game. That's true. He is uh, 
As long, I mean, as long as he's, he knows he's in danger, he'll just pop out the, the order of brilliance. There's no way that Brink can catch him unless he force it out. As I say that, Remar TV is a primary target here. Four-man four man presence by Brent Esports in the top lane as he's trying to buy time. Work also Force is oh going boy. to rejoin into the fight. That's a lot of members for work here. Lusty is going to have to be a sacrificial bird. Oh, Unravel, oh. he's gonna go for the rage on the few with the Meteor Shower as well, forcing the wings by wings, and Arteezy almost falls down there, but that's still another kill on the side of Bren. This feels like game soon, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't, it's very difficult for... Because three Marteezy and the rest of work are getting the items that they want. Now, Carl Teezy... Huh? Spotted out? Was he spotted out? There? I don't think so. You don't think so, yeah? Oh, Unravel's gonna spot him out. Unravel will spot him out, and that is just a signal for True to just keep going, because you know that Carl Teezy will not actually be able to join. And this is not going to be a Lord by Brent, but Flap is gonna be joining in on the fight behind enemy lines, and he's gonna pay the price. Lusty forced out to use the time journey as well. And that's a reset. Three members down. Work also for skin securities, but Carl Teezy can still attempt to go for the steal. Here's the audition thing, right? Yeah. Happening right now for Brand Esports. Slowly but surely, work are like getting the final blow. what they want. Going oh. in for it? Way too early, is isn't it? Uh, it's Carl it. Carl Teezy it. the man! What? What? I got what? Nani? No. What? Oh! He was way off on the timer, bro. But he still manages to get the last I hit. I know! How? Blue team I saw the retribution being used. Again, the power of the Benedetta. Uh, you know, that was impossible, but he did it. He did it, and this might just be a turnaround once again. Maybe yeah. a turnaround, but Work Awesome Work is still sieging this up. They don't want to get the advantage there. Unravel will go for the rage. They will take down Lussie once again. Three Marteezy low on HP. Rebo is pushing forward, here. going for the blood flow, and still gets the kill onto Kufra, onto Unravel. And Three Marteezy is going to be forced to fall back, trying to keep Kosei alive. Oh, they're blood here. Blood flow once again. Bren Esports rejoining, and Rebo, Rebo gets another one to Kosei. He is fairly aggressive. Goes once again for a blood flow, trying to go for Chu. And he's Chu's gonna run away. Three Martini just gonna body block each and every member of Bren Esports here. That was a hard fought battle here, Rebo. He, no one has been taking notice of this guy up until now, and his damage is real. Oh, here's another 1v1 between the junglers. It's Chu and Carl Teezy. But here comes Bren to regroup with Chu. Yeah, I don't think Chu was going to go for that just because there were minions. So this, the shadow kill damage was going to be divided up a lot. Carl Teezy knows it. That is immediately the map equalized by Bren Esports. Yep. Snap of a finger. Right there. Snap of the finger. It's all you needed to see there. Now it's going to be Bren kind of equalizing in the map, but they're now ahead in goal. Even by a little bit. Just a little bit. A couple of hundred. It's perfectly fine. Well, I mean, that was a huge re rebound from what they had. Yeah, that's true. And all it's all thanks to that Hail Mary play that Carl Teasy played for that Lord. My goodness. My God. I could hear Carl Teasy shouting after that one. Definitely. <laughs> like <laughs> the know, entirety of the Bren HQ just roaring with Carl Teasy sound. probably jumped and the building kind of shook a little bit. So, yeah. Um, Carl Teasy, no doubt, is going to be on hero mode with this Benedetta, which I'm pretty sure has won him a lot of games. Uh, although it is very rare for players in the MPL to pick up the Benedetta in the jungle role, Carl Teasy is doing it with style. I mean, if you are a prodigy like Carl Teasy that can just make any hero a golden hero, so to speak, he'll make it work. And he's showing that even though, despite that he has a Benedetta pick, that is really just reserved on the side lanes. He'll make it. He'll make an assassin out of it. Probably will. Now let's see what's gonna be the case here. What's gonna be called here for War Gosser Force? Who do we go for? Do we hunt down Carl Teasy or is Lusty the more prime target? And this time they cannot ignore Rebo as they saw earlier in the big audition fight. Yeah, quite literally, a one v one v one v one by Rebo. Got two off of that, and potentially went for three more. And Rebel charging up the Revenge, spots out you and Lussie. Oh, hello there, neighbors. Yep, and that's gonna be a miss on the Tyrant's Revenge. Spots out the rest of Brand Esports' members. Rebo has the purple buffs, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna go aggressive as much as possible here, too. 
this is a strength where work has here in this fight. They have the capability to split push because of Chu, but then again, where's the majority of their damage going to be coming from? Yeah, uh, RTZ is also going to be so crucial here. His position on the next team fight could determine whether or not War can get something done because Few has been phenomenal so far on the far side. You have to expect a big play here from Unravel, if anything, to catch Carl TZ and not within not be within range of Lusty. Lord is back on the table here. Now Work has the better position. Bren is gonna have to face check a lot of bushes before going in. That's the benefit of having Lusty on that diggy. Yeah. He, they can, if he can face check the bushes without any problems, and Ravel charging up the revenge will miss its mark, will get punished a little bit. The Fed Strike will be used up as well. Ah, of course. Wings by Wings by Few. Just spot out all that damage. Whoa! RTZ! <laughs> he bumped into a wall. He wanted to go for Lusty. That's darkening out, and oh. Brand knows it. Baits out the Electro Final Blow as well as the revenge. The Ray is still pretty much available with the damage output by Flap. Pushes Kosa and Chu away from the fight. That was a big uh, bloop there, blooper there rather. Uh, again, <laughs> because of that work has to back up. Oh man, that could have been a kill. Three more teasing. And again, at 20 minutes up, the timers are going to be huge. Anybody who dies, in the example, uh, three more teasing, will Flat? be out for 60 seconds. Again, immortality does. No is the fact that they also have to consider so they didn't want to engage too hard and use up all those ultimates just for a Uranus but they might have to with the coming one. They do. And they spot out where Unravel is so they know how safe they are right now at this yeah. point. Rebo's there as well. He wants to go for the split. Alice is so good with the split just because of flowing blood movement around the map. Carl TZ as well just making sure that these minion waves are primed and positioned ready for the Lord fight. Speaking of minion waves, top lane is the only wave for the side of work yeah. that is pushed forward. Absolutely. Flap easy with a 2v1 here too. Rebo's joining in as well. Oh man. They will they will disengage. Work has to disengage. They kinda have to now. And again, just make sure that you have better position in this Lord. They just need to keep doing this. And pressure Brand into making a weird uh, decision, make them we make make them do a weird play. That's their key to victory at the moment. 22 minutes in, again, death timer is going to be long. They need to force out, if anything. They need to force out the uh, time's journey from Lusty. And Neither team though wants to do anything at this that, point. We're back, in the, we're back in the chicken mode. We're back to game one. Yeah, we're back <laughs> to game one. Slow down massively, which I, I don't blame them. That's exactly what they have to do here. That's true. And we're just going to have to lay down and chill. You can say that this is the MPL chillax. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind, kind of. of is, yeah. But it, they're all tense as well because they know they only have one shot in this best of five series. And if they if, lose, goodbye. Yeah, if you're Brent Esports, your eyes have to be on the Cooper all the time, and they're wondering where are these guys. Well, they spots them out. There you go, some better there, strike. RTG, the burst is real, and I like the presence of three Martizi in the top lane as well. It's not. Uh, Bren is not committing as a five-man unit here for the yeah. Lord. And again, all the alarm bombs are keeping everyone in check here for work. Again, the top lane minion wave is something you can't also ignore if you're Bren. Yeah, it's uh, Chu also just knocking on that door. And will he engage? It has not. It does not have to be an engage for Chu. Look at work here. Seems to be pressuring top while doing the, tr the Lord at the same time. This is very sneaky. They're debating out the information. They, they did debate out the information. A lot of bombs on the floor here. A lot of uh, floor hazards. Yep, all the alarm bombs chase really quickly, but also just explode a lot quicker too. Which means you can't maximize the vision that much compared to before. Not the nerf I thought they would put on Diggy. <laughs> But here you go. And Lusty is gone. That is an opening. Unravel has an opening to go for the Rage here. He's looking for an opportunity to do so. We'll be charging it up. Will actually be a knocked back by Flap TZ. Pushed back, I mean. Revenge will be charged up for Martizi. Just tanking up the members here. And they will finally start the lure, question mark, as they yeah, get the kill maybe. on uh, Arteezy with. Arteezy's out. Yeah, Dream Martizi's out as well. 
And this is not good for Work Officer Force. It's a one for one trade, but the HPs are incredibly low on the side of Work Officer Force. Unravel is down. They needed that set, and they're no longer there. Wither Trudgeon is there, but they still managed to get the kill. Gets the trade. Kose oh, forced it back on. Gets stunned. Few is out. Chu takes him out. It's just once again, Carl Teasy left alive. Carl Teasy left alone, and of course, a floating bird egg to help him with vision. But again, it's Kosei and Chu, it's a, and the minion waves are in the good position here. Cleared up by Electo Final Blow and, of course, the Phantom Strike. Chu should be uh, backing off. And he does finally back off. And still not a safe spot for any of them. It's a 2v2. And if anything, Brent is... Brent should have the upper hand in this 2v2. Yeah, look at Chu here. You just have Kosei. to go and clear these waves before you fight, because you can't fight with a minion wave. With the tank almost taking out the inhibitor turret, that would have been huge if they got that. But that's not going to be the case here. Chu, as well, using Hurricane Eye. Fight oh no, he's is overseeing inevitable. I think Bren really, really wanted that. Yeah, you could, you could feel it. Like, let's get Chu as much as possible. They were chasing him, too. So now it is going to be everyone waiting for the cooldowns, for the response to go back in again. Win rate percentage. Off the charts here for work, 78% right now. Way more than I expected. But now, I'll be here. Looking at Kosei, Chu's joining in. Shadow kill. They oh, left no. the mini the mini purple up just for the just for the shadow kill. Smart that micro smart. decisions. Ouch. Airstrike onto Chu already a quarter of his HP down. And again, we are back into the waiting game. Yeah, back on the 5v5 waiting for someone to make a bad move play. And this may just be in a little bit more. 26 minutes, ladies and gents. We're back on a, a phase where the timers are on their almost maximum. No small decay slowing down on the... Uh, the death timer incremental, but it's still going up. Now Lord's gonna be the focus here for work. Oh, nice revenge. Uh, the bouncing ball as well stops Latini from going immediately into the back lines against Kosei. Oh, Three Martizi is in the back lines. Turret is down. Lord is low on HP. Chu will get secured here. Who's gonna be able to get the steal as the battle is still going That's on? That's Carl Teasy. That has to be Carl Teasy. Lord is down. The Lord is going no! to be secured by no! Foster Force. No! And this is now Brent Esports in a tight spot. Carl Teasy was right there. It was on cooldown. It was on cooldown. Oh, no. No, I the cannot believe it wasn't even used. It wasn't even used by Chu. What happened there? How? Unravel. <laughs> Unravel got it. All right. Look at it this way. That was it's massive. a 2v3. Three Martizi and Kosei, they don't have the enough firepower question mark yeah, to yeah. go for this. Look at Carl. Carl Teasy's in the back line. He's Immortality going to be pop. Three Martizi is the only one left alive. Lord already chipped out the HP. Oh my god. 70 and seconds on Kosei. 27 on Arteezy and Chu. That's the closest they can get. And they can still get some work done. So far work, they are doing the impossible here. The comeback. <laughs> The Losing the Lord's fight, but still getting the Lord. How? How did he do that? I you. mean, that's exactly what Brent did earlier, too. Oh, no. Three Martizis uh, dan in danger oh, here if oh, he gets oh. taken out. What are you doing? There's the Winter Trunch that keeps himself alive. Gets a little bit more. Uh, Buys time for Chu to rejoin on the fight. I thought that was Chu? I thought that was Chu no, in Chu's the base. No, Chu's upstairs. Chu was, I thought Chu was in the downstairs <laughs> because of the camera. I got baited there <laughs> by the observer. You got baited, man. I was Take so, it easy. Man, take it easy, we can't man. take it easy, man. <laughs> Brand versus work. Game two is this close. We can't take it easy. 100k almost on both teams' economy, and everyone is locked in. Now it's going to be the big minions left. I think they already took care of the last of the big minions. We're back on equilibrium here for Brand and work. Patience is what's needed here. I think so. Yeah, I think so. We need lots of patience here for Bren and work. But this time, Bren does have a better uh, position on the minion waves. He got better pushes there. Ah, Chu, Chu gets bursted out. Feathered airstrike hurts, hits like a tank right now. It does. 
and they Brent, they're backing off. How long can they keep this up though? We'll have to wait and see as we do spot out the rest of work just playing a little bit more passive. Actually, a, a lot passive. Not a little passive, a lot passive. It's like... It's just completely like game number one, man. But just flip the tables. It's now, well, Bren slowly coming back into this game. Um, gold advantage doesn't even matter at this point. 67 seconds left on the Lord until it spawns again. That is the main objective here for both sides. Man, if Bren misses this Lord, it has to be game. But again, it's gonna be work on the offensive, so I think Lord should I don't I don't even think we'll reach uh, that fight. If people die on Lord, they'll probably go for the GG push anyway. That's so, true. <laughs> probably won't go for Lord uh, in the end. So now it's gonna be free Martezi's opportunity to go for split pushes as well as rebos to try to gain tempo for their respective teams. And we're 30 minutes in, ladies and gents. Looking real good so far for work, but they still need to close it out against the world champions. How long until one of them breaks? That's the question. By the looks of it, everybody is composed despite the turnarounds that have been happening left and right in this entire matchup. We got 10 seconds left on the Lord. Work, they are getting priority and vision in this jungle to find out where Bren is to gauge if they want to go for the Lord push. But they need to capitalize on Chu that is on the top lane split. Yep. Gotta be aware of that. Free Martizi and Chu on either sides of the map means that Bren can't really group up too much on one spot. That's true, and Free Martizi just soaking up a lot of damage, and he does not want to get taken out. Yeah, but he is probably gonna, gonna yeah. with the time, reverse time. The immortality as well. Goes yeah. for the Winter Crunch to keep himself alive just a little bit more. That was an insta buy, by the way. He bought it and then used it. That was real quick. <laughs> I saw the pop up on the items. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, again, he's gonna sell it and probably buy one again later on. <laughs> That's how how rich our players are right now. They could quite literally just sell their entire gear and then just rebuy it without, you know. Fuss. But why would you do that, right? Yeah, just get those potions, and that's exactly what Kose is doing. Now, work are gonna be on the offensive once more. Minion waves on top side look a lot better for work, and now Brandy are waiting for work to make a move. Lord will be baited out by Bren, uh, by work also force. Bren, they're not uh, biting the bait; they're playing it safe. Hmm. Let's go for a one-hour game. Can can you do it, Bren? Can you do it, work? Break the all-time record in MPLPH. Yeah, break the all-time record. I don't mind. I mean, that's exactly how it looks like in the first place. So, what's the record again? Fifty-seven minutes. Fifty-two. Oh, fifty-two. Fifty-two minutes. That was way back, season four, season five. I season forgot four, already. Four. Uh, and now it's gonna be work going back on to the Lord once more. And just baiting it out once again. Bren yep. is scattered across the map. Now Rebo is going to have to make some call some. Oh, wait a second. Immortality. Lusty wait a second. Down. Oh, uh, there comes a the fitted airstrike. No time's journey available as well. Slide opening. That work also for us once. They're looking for Call Teasy. Unravels looking for it. Goes for the rage, but it just connects and Lusty gets finally taken out. Few is low on HP. Call Teasy takes down Kose. And they're still fighting. Here comes Rebo. The problem on the side of work also for is still there, being handled by work also for It's a three v three for now. Two for two trade. And two, three Martizi unravel. This is a composition that can handle Bren Esports for now. Yep. They need to back off. That's a free v free, and at this point, Bren should reset. Bren should clear the waves and reset if they want to stay alive. Free Martizi though, making that very, very difficult. And this should be a full-on siege by Work Awesome Force. Like no doubt, this should be forced out. They can handle this. They should be able to, but so far they're just not. Kose as well is very far away and. RTZ 40 seconds, meaning that Lord is also out of the question for the meantime. They don't have anyone to zone out except for Unravel. Again, we all they are getting spotted out by the Diggy, so it's like a four three v three or three and three and a half versus three. Mm -hmm. so they got some vision. And the flap is positioned here over in the Lord. 
He's trying to bait something out from our Gossip Force, but there's really not much he can bait unless you he try got, to get Chu. He got the Lethal Wanderer, which is big. That's true. Information, and Bren's gonna go for it. Bren wants this to go their way. And Unravel is prepping. He's prime. He's jumping. And the Lord makes him jump, too. Nobody will get that revenge. It's just the Lord that will knock everybody up. And Three Martisi is He's like a bait in the middle here. Yep, and Revo as well going on going off on a different side means he knows it's not gonna happen. Oh, almost got caught there by Chu. Almost. And uh, once again, 90% win rate for work. How do they con compute this? I mean, this is interesting. I mean, if you look at if this, you look at the map, yeah. Nine, like Why is it going up as time goes by? Like, interesting. Anyway, back on the field, despite Bren with the gold, by the way. Uh, now, it's a fight. It is. And it's a patience game once again. It's not easy just getting information. And work, they're still sticking with his lord. They're chipping it. They already understand that Carl Teasy can steal the lord and they might just potentially almost get Chu there. Uh, they popped the queen's wings. Oh, Carl Teasy's gonna go down. Oh, oh he man. managed to flicker out. The time's journey will be used up as well. Here comes he with the truncheon. That is RTZ down. He'll make it out alive as Chu takes him flap. Here. Makes it a zero for a two one. It's a it's Fuel. work. Carl TZ's that's down. Work. That's, that's Fuel and Lussie, and that's definitely going to be the game. That should be it. That there has to be no it. No way they can <laughs> with just Lusty alive. We are back on level here, ladies and gentlemen. Brent versus work. 36 minutes. In game number two. Ties up the series. This winning moment is brought to you by Head and Shoulders. We are reset down back into the best of three. Yep, and that is just how you do it, right? That is, you just take it slow and steady. You play pass.